Ah, now, um, we've been on the road now for about two or three days. Now finally we've reached our ultimate destination before we have to go back to Bangkok. It's the um, Temple of a Million Beer Bottles, Wat Nam Plak. I think that's right. Um, and um, we're here to make a donation. Um, here we are, got two bottles of Buddha beer all the way from Australia. Now if you have a careful look, you'll um, see the Laughing Buddha. He's probably been having a whale of a time drinking the beer. So, uh, yeah, I hope it's not too sacrilegious because um, Buddha did preach that you're not allowed to take, drink alcohol or take intoxicants. But that doesn't seem to have worried the monks around here. They've um, erected this incredible temple out of a million beer bottles that they um, you know, managed to forage around the countryside. So it is the, actually the ultimate act of recycling. And um, we're going to now um, try to find the abbot and see if he'll um, accept them as a donation. There's a, a couple of um, lucky Buddha beer bottles from um, Brisbane, Australia. But unfortunately we couldn't find the abbot who was otherwise engaged, so we gave the bottles to the young novice, hoping he'd pass them on. But then black clouds descended upon the place and uh, took the shine off the beer bottles, unfortunately. But um, they don't look too bad, do they? There's a, a column they've made out of beer bottles. It's all in harmony with nature. There it is growing happily next to a big um, jackfruit plant. And look at the size of that fruit. And the monks are hard at it. There's one guy who's diligently chipping off a lot of old cement. He's going to replace... Ah, oh, what's that? a um, cigarette. Buddha wouldn't approve of that, I'm sure. Taking um, nicotine. But anyway, he's doing a fairly good job. You know, he's slapping on the cement, replacing that bottle. Uh, Renny wasn't with us at this stage. Um, she was um, preoccupied at another very important event. <laughs> There she is, um, she's in there somewhere, in amongst all those, I think there were about 160 eager young devotees, soaking up words of wisdom and learning how to meditate. Quite a big job. Ah, there she is, paying attention, although it um, looks like she's paying more attention to her fingers and scrutinizing her fingernail, fingernail makeup. She's referring to all the bribe money that Chewy One um, paid her to go to the course. But anyway, it looks as though it's starting to have a happy ending. There she is with Jesse. You know, taking a uh, taking a selfie. So she was at first she was like mad at her mom for forcing her to come, but then like days after day she made friends, so she is happy now. And uh, how how did she go during during the course? Did she enjoy the course? Do you think? Uh, like there were some times where she was a bit like disappointed and like lazy to do to meditate, but then like she learned something. So I hope she gets something from the course. You, you think it all it all worked out and yeah. promising for the future? Do you think? Yeah, if she, like she she can do everything she wants, but but she just needs like to uh, aim high and just give it a try. I'm very proud of you, Penny. Hope to see you soon. Then it was off to Pattaya, where the um, beachside vendors gathered around to um, watch you. Um, have a tattoo. You've been obsessed with tattoos and other forms of bodily adornment and face makeup. You're looking a bit traumatized there after the um, retreat, but uh, the old um, tattoo artist did a good job, and so did Auntie Oi, capturing it all on her iPhone. Yes, and then handing it over to you for perusal. Yeah, looking pretty sour, but still. Ah, oh, that's not bad, and that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good.
Ah, my Lulu. Cost Auntie Oi the princely sum of 200 baht, and no wonder he looked so happy. But it came with a warning. How long does it take to drive? Um, 30 minutes. Okay. Just be, be careful. Don't, don't pass 30 minutes. But in less time than it took to eat a bowl of instant noodles, the masterpiece had washed off when you took your first dip in the polluted waters of Pattaya Harbour. It was a mere shadow of its former self, only minutes later. But anyway, we thought um, by paying out a bit more, another 199 you could go along to this um, friendly fellow at um, one of the big department stores in Pattaya, and there you could have a complete clean-up. Facial scrub, remove blackheads, remove whiteheads, remove pimples and impurities, have a gentle calamine mask, or have a soothing acne mask applied. All to no avail, we might add. Then it was off to Lampang. But here you are, going up the temple stairs, being modestly attired by Aunty Oi, because you're not allowed to wander into the temple in shorts. It's very disrespectful. So off you go. And then you and um, Aunty Oi make an offering of new robes to the monk. And he's very grateful to receive that lot. There you go. And look, there's the reason you have to cover up. Look at that salacious looking garment. That had inflamed the passions of the monks no end. They'd all end up probably having to get disrobed, a bit like yourself. So uh, there you go. That's the reason behind the whole thing. Put the robe back for the next um, person. Then off to the next temple. And Lampang's the um, home of horses. There's lots of these quaint little conveyances thundering around the town. I'm still looking at the iPad, although after a while um, you start to really enjoy yourself. Look at that, having a laugh. Although you're trying to turn the video camera off all the time. But um, anyway, you thoroughly enjoyed it. And here we are getting back into the um, temple going outfit again. Another nice new robe cover up that salacious garment and you were supervised by this strange looking character as you did the obligatory three rounds of the temple complex. There you go, looking happy about it all. How many have you done so far? Three. Three? Oh, three's enough. Yeah, you have to do three. And here's something rather interesting, a couple of bullet holes and a cryptic message. I think they're trying to say this is the hole the bullet made when Nan Tip Chan Shot Tao tried to assassinate Tao Maya Yoti. But we never did get to the bottom of it. All the temple were interested in doing was collecting money. Look at that. When I um, presented my tatty looking 20 baht note, this old fellow had the very responsible job of Fastening it to the end of all the other offerings, a very responsible job. Ah. We ended the year with um, the ceremonial launch of little hot air balloons. Here you are, you're, this is the first one being launched by you. With a bit of help from Aunty Oi. Aunty Oi is an expert. It is quite a tricky business, actually. But um, Aunty Oi has got the art off pat. Here we go, ah, off it goes, up into the sky, bearing our hopes and dreams for a happy 2017.